Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tanya's Tea Time. I'm Tanya. Thank you so much for being here with me. Uh, we are going to do a reading for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs in Leo. If for some reason this does not resonate, um, please check your moon, your rising, your Venus signs. And this is for the month of January. I will be getting out some weeklies throughout the month, um, those that I'm called to do. And then I'll also be doing some like love relationship type focused readings uh, because that was highly requested. So that will be coming soon. Okay. So I have for you, Leo, the full card. Uh, this is like taking a new step into a new beginning, a new phase, a new, new chapter of your life. Um, I just see all the colors like in this, um, illustration. It's very serene. It's very beautiful. I'm being drawn mostly to the colors of this illustration for you guys. Like almost like you guys are going to have a very colorful, explosive, vibrant, new start that's that's all i can that's all i can say okay so we're gonna go to tarot leo's energy has been interesting lately some of you guys are going through big changes big 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 changes and there's the two of cups <laughs> um big changes with relationships a partnership a bond with somebody, uh, a soulmate connection. Is there a new beginning here with a new soulmate, Leo? I try to make these general readings, but if they turn into relationship readings, I cannot help it. I have here the Six of Pentacles. This is a very cyclical card. It's like what goes around comes around. Um, the balance of the scales, what you've given in the past comes back to you a hundredfold. Um, some of you guys are deserving of this new start, this new soulmate. This is some, this is being sent to you from the universe. <laughs> this person, the chariot, forward movement, or this could be movement with a car. This could be somebody attaining a new car. It could mean a whole bunch of stuff. We'll see how it applies when we clarify further, okay? But honestly, I see this as like forward movement into this new beginning with this new partner. But there's some sort of anxiety about this. There's some sort of anxiety over this. Give me one or two more cards for Leo, please, for January, and then we'll clarify. But you're a hell of attracted to this. <laughs> <laughs> or this person. Um, yeah. This is definitely like attraction, but this could be like creative, creative ideas, passionate ideas. Something new. Definitely something new. Okay, so we see like forward march. Forward march, like the army. Chaos at the bottom. Chaos around this new beginning. We'll see. I felt serenity, though. I felt serene from the full card at the beginning. So I don't think for many of you there's chaos, but for some of you there might be. Queen of Wands. This is like a passionate queen. Like she's very, she could be like a warrior, too. I'm thinking about that forward march that I heard and this new beginning and the stress and the chaos that could follow with this new beginning. This could be a beginning with a partnership. I almost feel like there's somebody, there's maybe one or two of you that might be actually partnering, partnering up like with the military, like going into a military field, um, being sent out. To station but this is something that you wanted but you're stressed about it that's for a particular few of you it's not for everybody um 
but you're passionate about this new beginning or this new beginning with this person. This is something that you wanted. This is something that you, you want from the heart. You want it. There's drive here. There's motivation behind this new beginning. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands and this Two of Cups, please. I just keep getting strongly. There's there's one or two of you that, that either are going into the military or have people in your lives that have gone into the military. Service. This forward movement with this. And if this is your partner, I feel like then that's you that's stressed about this, Leo. <clears throat> but you're very supportive. Extremely supportive. Yeah, look. And I just get like a soldier vibe from this. This is victory. This is victorious. This is coming home from... Oh, that could be too. This could be a new beginning coming home from the army for somebody as well. Somebody's coming home, starting the new, um, the new life, new beginning at home. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you wanted. There's success here either way. For those of you that aren't in the army, aren't in the military, aren't in the service, um, there's success in this new beginning with this person or with this job, okay? Page of Pentacles here. This is like a. It's stable. It's stable. It's stable and passionate. And then I have the Knight of Cups coming in here. This is like an offer of love. An offer of. This can be. <laughs> if this is a relationship, this can be like uh, somebody that's been admiring you. And uh, wants to take a leap of faith into something new. Or you've been admiring somebody and you're like, now's the time to make a move. Interesting, Leo. Where's the Six of Pentacles, please, and this Chariot card? It's very interesting. But I feel... I feel like this new beginning might um, give a challenge to a few of you. That there's like a little, slight little challenge, but despite the challenge, you're moving forward with it. That's where I feel like this anxiety card comes in. Like, I think it's more like anxiety and fear over this, the unknown and the challenge of the unknown. But you guys are moving forward no matter what. You guys are like, Determined. This is what I want. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. It's like generation wealth. Generational wealth. But this is also. This has nothing to do with your family. This is um, stability. Big, 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 big stability. And this is stability that's coming to you. Because you're deserving of it. You've worked for this. You're moving forward with this. If this is a career advance, if this is like a career, there's an advancement. If this is like a job, you're moving up in a position. Um, if you are looking for work, it's going to be like the job of your dreams. There's a new start here. It's brand new. It's something that you've not done before. And for those of you that are in the service that are coming home, you're coming home because you've worked and you're bringing home stability to your family. Good job. Good job. What is this Nine of Swords, please, for Leo? January 2022. Four of Pentacles. It's like holding on. Holding on to that fear. You're still moving forward. You have a chariot card here. You're still moving forward, but you're holding on to that fear. You're holding on to that anxiety. It's 
Yeah, like there's like healing needed. There's that letting go needed. For some of you, you guys are worried about your coin. You're worried about your job. You're worried about will your family be secure? Do you guys have enough stability for the family? But that's not an issue. There's something coming to you. There's blessings coming to you. This is cyclical. This is coming to you because you're deserving of it. The universe says yes. Yes, yes, yes. There's a new beginning here that I think that's going to enable you to release this fear. Release. Release. Um, holding on so tight because of insecurity. Yeah. The universe is going to make sure that you are going to be able to take that deep breath again after holding your breath for so long. And you're going to be, you're going to be just fine. You're going to be just fine. This is a new start because you're deserving of it. This is, this is stability because you're deserving of it. This is a relationship. Because you're deserving of it. It's beautiful. Clarify, please, for Leo. There's Ace of Wands, please. I love that this is your, your ending card here. <laughs> you got this um, intimate attraction card at the end here. <laughs> Could be some creative ideas. Oh, yeah, look at you. Queen of Cups here. All up in your feelings. You want this opportunity. You want this person. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're expecting something to come in. You're expecting... <clears throat> You're expecting to... Um, like make this official, but like also like take it to the another level with this person. If this is a person, this is, if this is a, a person for you, uh, a soulmate for you, you guys are not going to be able to keep your hands off each other. Let's just put it that way. Um, the 10 of cups here too, you guys are going to feel happy, feel blessed. You're going to feel like this is the person that maybe you could potentially go into a traditional relationship with. Um, but you kind of knew this was going in this direction. This is what you wanted. If this is a relationship, if this is a job, this is a job that you're very passionate about. This is a job that you want to stay with for long term, long term. Um, yeah, that's going to bring you a lot of wealth and stability and it's going to bleed over into your family life. Because you have all this stability coming in, it's going to result in a happy family life for sure for all of you. Doesn't matter if this is a job for you or a family situation for you. Either way, there is material gain and there is um there is gain in a relationship all the way all the way around. If this is not, if this is about a job for you, but you have a family, it's going to make your family happier because you have more stability. You know what I'm saying? It kind of all goes together. And if this is um, about a relationship, this is a relationship that's going to be extremely balanced. You guys are both going to bring a lot of stability to each other and a lot of happiness to each other. So either way, this is a win-win, Leo. A win-win. I think I'm going to put that in the title. Win-win. There's no losing here. No matter if this is a job or relationship, either way, you guys are balanced. You guys are totally, it's going to affect one or the other. You know what I'm saying? If you guys are looking at this for love, know that not only are you guys going to be blessed with the love aspect, but you guys are going to also be blessed with the financial aspect. If you guys are looking here for tarot for the financial aspect, this is not only going to be blessings with your finances, this is going to be also blessings for your family. Okay. 
I hope that makes sense. I can't go any further. I don't want to either. I mean, claim this reading. <laughs> it's not bad. It's very direct to the point. Um, try not to get all in your head about this fear and anxiety that this is something new or having any kind of doubts, anxiety that's going to bring doubts to you. Let that go. Let that go. I feel like that's the advice from the universe is just to let that part go. Um, other than that, I don't see anything wrong with this reading. It's beautiful. Claim it. Let me know if it applies to you. And if it doesn't, I don't see why you wouldn't want this to. But if it doesn't for some reason resonate, um, check your moon, your rising, your Venus signs. No problem. Don't try to make this, this fit. And um, if you guys um, haven't subscribed, please do. I really appreciate it. I'd love to see you guys back. If you guys like tarot or if you like Oracle readings in general, I would love to have you here again. Okay. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the